just late night horse rides and tea parties. It extends to golf as well. A young lad named Francis we met made history on these grounds more than a century ago, winning this championship as an amateur. We're left to ask what sort of history might be made this week at Brookline in the United States Open. EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's opening round coverage of the third of golf's four majors, the United States Open. This promises to be a fun four days, a lot of storylines to get to as we check out the early leaderboard. We're looking at a tie at the top at seven under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer ready to try and win that sterling silver U.S. Open trophy. In the heart of the fairway, 180 yards in. Iona Steven is at the first green. This for birdie. Well, this is going to demand a lot of touch in the fingertips. There's not a whole lot of left to right movement, but it's going to be very fast. Mm, that's a good putt. Just need it a little more behind it. Safely in. It's a par here at the first. And they'll hold steady at even par. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Oh, off the flagstick. That finished off for a par here at the second. And they'll remain right where they are. Is starting up the right side. Be a little disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. Well, that one didn't work out. Didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop.
Nicely done. It is a par here at the third. And they're going to stay right where they are. And that, a good-looking shot there. Well placed in the fairway. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. On the number at 150 yards to the front, 158 to the hole, pinned just on the front edge. Oh, this could be good. Now that's a shot we can all learn from. Well thought out, pitch the ball short. Saw the corridor up there, lets it bounce up on the green, and now a putt inside 10 feet. Oh, right by the hole. The longer putts, you don't mind as much. The short ones, they tend to sting. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And they'll remain right where they are. Well, this looks really good. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Hut for Eagle coming up. Here we go, seven footer for birdie. Yes, a good read, it's a birdie here at five. about eight feet. Yes. Not got that up too high and it didn't want to come back. Okay, it's a bogey here at number six. And they're going to fall out of red figures back down to even par.
Well, that one's finished in the first cut. It's going to be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. It needs to slow a bit. Okay, that, that's still going to be a good four feet, though, coming back. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And they're going to stay right where they are. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. That's it. Two solid shots right there. From Certainly taking advantage of this par five. Comfortably on for two. Oh, yeah. How do you take advantage of a par five? It's in for an eagle three. Superb. What a feel. Eagle on the previous hole, just swinging easy and just stripes another one. Um, you playing with house money? Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. Always heading a little bit right, but inside 10 feet, there's nothing wrong with that on this side. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that is going to finish off a three under front side as they go out in 32. That one up the right side. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee.
didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Touch excellent there from behind the green, and that one goes down for an unlikely birdie. Okay, safely aboard. A birdie putt here at the 11th. Yeah, and it's certainly no gimme from this length. It would be a Brucey bonus to find the bottom of the cup. Main consideration has to be about pace. to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Second shot. Good look at the green. Here we go. Uh, it's been a beautiful round of golf uh, today. It's been a clinic with the irons and well, more evidence there. The swing, the strike, and look how close that is. Oh, now that is going to hurt. Nope, didn't see the break, and that slides by to the left. So, a tough hole, and it's in for bogey at 12. And that's going to drop them back down to four under par. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. It just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop.
But those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. Ah, that is well read. A terrific putt there to save par. And they're going to hold on at minus four. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really, trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Good soft hands. That is nicely done. Eight feet now for birdie. Now ah, that's how you play this 14th hole. That's in for birdie. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find the rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Imagine a miss club because that ball sailed past the flag. Really just fortunate to stay on the back of the green. To get it to stop where it did from that far away, that is a super putt. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And they'll remain at minus five. Yeah, that one came in a little hot. It's safely on, but it'll be a long look coming up. Chance now for another birdie. Mm. 
that's not quite dead from there. That is a good distance short. Okay, didn't want to let that one get away. It is a par here at 16, and they'll remain right where they are. This one gonna settle into the bunker off the tee. So this one gonna have to carry a long way. We talk so much about that dreaded long bunker shot, and that was played beautifully. I would take that any day of the week. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And they're going to stay right where they are. Shoes there. Good tee shot in the short grass. This is about 125 yards. That might be a fat eight iron for me. This one has a chance to be close. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. This a good position to be in after day one for our featured golfer. Just a shot back and playing well. Yeah, there are thereabouts. I think that's a good uh, indicator that uh, they're certainly going to be in contention come Sunday. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay the third, and Iona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PG.